Noah's Ark. Discovery of three carbonized wood beams in possibly Noah's Ark by Ronald Stewart, copyright 2000-2018, all rights reserved. In the image below, this and three possible totally carbonized beams of wood were discovered in the approximate middle part of the structure that Art Quest Team, Ex Noah's Ark Expedition Team number two, entered during the summer of 2015. And what we see here, the area is very dark. The horizontal lines may indicate bitumen that with age has turned white in color. We will consider that in another paper about the bitumen scientific testing that was done. But for now we want to revisit the previous video that talked about how deterioration took place in some of the pieces of wood in the possible arc. And these pieces of wood deteriorated and also had a yellow tinge to them and these were known as gothite. Now here we see the piece of wood we considered in the previous video. However, what we're going to take a look at now right there with the red oval or the red round outline is that is a wood knot that is synonymous and is singularly identifiable and unique to aromatic cedar wood. In this case now aromatic cedar petrified wood. Now here we're going to study some more with the annotations. But some decay in the beam took place for a while. We're pointing to that now with the red arrows that are outlined in yellow to help show where the different locations of different areas are. Now we're going to show that again, different areas of possible deterioration. Now what happened is it deteriorated, these beams here deteriorated to a point, but then once gothite entered, then they began to harden. As they hardened over time, then petrification totally and completely stopped the deterioration. And that's what we see here. And that's what we're reading here in the text. The mineral gothite caused the yellow color or likely caused it to happen. Where, again, the arrows are pointing to in these different locations. Which would be there there, 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 and there. Now this also may offer a predisposition to help the wood even turn or to carbonize. And we'll consider that a little bit later on in this video in some more information in peer-reviewed papers. And that's what we'll be talking about there. However, what we're getting ready to consider next is more about carbonization and how that basically takes place. But as we previously aforementioned, the gothite may have a predisposition to help some of the wood carbonize. And here in this gothite or gothization as we considered in the previous video here at Norwick et al. 2005 he detected in wood samples gothite hematite at Dunaroba, Italy. However there were other minerals that added to this as well at Dunaroba, Italy. Pyrite with calcite also at Lukau, Poland. And in a second example, gothite with silica at Kwasala, Poland, also aided to 
the carbonization. However, these were not the only examples to where Gothite help turned into carbonized wood. There were geosperm samples also at Arcosis from the late Carniferous period, which was estimated by scientists to be from 306 million years ago, and the Permian time, 286 to 246 million. Now here are some of the bibliographical references that we just mentioned as seen here in number one. And these will also verify that the Gothite aided in also these different pieces of wood examples that we just previously mentioned that they carbonized in like manner. Seen here. And the example of where Gothite aided in the carbonization of different examples of wood in different locations was also verified here in this other bibliographical reference, Brock F., Parker's R.J. and Biggs, D.E.G., from 2006, entitled Experimental Pyrite Formation Associated with Decay of Plant Material, also stated more or less the same thing or alluded to it. The summer of 2015 original video of the three carbonized wood beams discovered in possibly the remains of Noah's Ark. During the summer of 2015, ArcQuest team number two came across these carbonized beams in the middle of the Ark. Here's the original video. This video is about two and a half minutes long. There will be no, hardly no speaking, and there will just be music. This is now as follows.
Next, and last, here is our next example of carbonized wood that we found on Greater Mount Ararat on the northeast side at about the 42 to 4300 meter elevation level. We can see here that it is totally dark and there may be crystallization also in the white areas. We're now going to explain that in much more detail as follows. Here it's annotated to the left and it reads quartz crystallization. The arrows point to the areas that could and likely have quartz crystallization as we see here. I'm going to show that again and point to it for re-emphasis and reiteration as to what was said. Now, we're going to explain again about the carbonized beam itself. Okay, this particular beam is about the middle beam where the arrows point to right there from about right there to there, that is the carbonized beam all the way down above the white line that you see on top and bottom, which we're going to explain that next. Now, these white horizontal lines are carbonized beam upper and lower horizontal bitumen joints between the beams between the beams right there where the upper arrow points to points to the upper bitumen in the top of that beams joint and then the arrow that points here is in the bottom of the middle beams joint and it's white due to age what well, we'll explain that in another peer-reviewed paper into the near future and also video on that that's where the arrows point to horizontally and we saw the original video these white lines were the bitumen between the joints that has turned this color and it can be proven scientifically due to age that's what we see there and that's what we saw in the original video as well that we just got through seeing in the, a little while ago in just the earlier part of this video. Next, we're going to explain about the left side. There is a large cavity in that beam right here. For some reason, it got damaged or tore out, and there is a hole or large cavity there in like manner as well. Large cavity in the beam right there and there's other holes up and down the beam as we have may seen as well. Next we're going to talk more about the peer-reviewed papers and proving this in bibliographical references. This is now more as follows. However, what causes wood to carbonize? Well here is some more peer-reviewed data to review for this petro for this carbonized wood as follows it is important to understand conditions in what can cause wood to carbonize when biomaterial exposed to sudden searing heat as in the case of an atomic bomb explosion or pyroclastic flow from a volcano e.g. like in greater mount ararat for instance it can be carbonized extremely quickly, turning it into solid carbon. And the destruction of the Herculean city was also done by a volcano. Many organic objects in that situation, such as furniture, were carbonized by the intense heat. The Smithsonian's Institution Scientific Organization has the, the worldwide international vulcanization program 
and they list that Mount Ararat from what scientists have estimated erupted in about 2400 BCE about the perfect time according to Bible chronology for it to have erupted at the time of the biblical great flood or the global flood however this would not have caused these beams to become carbonized and other areas of wood to be carbonized because that's when Noah's Ark landed and Noah family and the animals came out of the ark however there is indicative evidence scientific evidence that it may have erupted in 1450 BCE again and there are some newspaper articles that suggest that it erupted very very minimally in 1783 CE <clears throat> however it is a lot of evidence significant evidence that erupted in 1840 CE and that is where some of this carbonization could have come from of a pyroclastic flow from Wikipedia which is a fast-moving different hot gas and volcanic matter that can move as fast as 700 kph or 450 miles per hour the gases can reach temperatures of about 1000 degrees centigrade or 1830 degrees fahrenheit again here is some peer-reviewed papers and scientific verification about partial and complete carbonization one specific category of calcification, also the formation of coal balls and petrification, was mentioned by Skidnevitska, 1972, and Scott and Rex, 1985, Scott et al., 1996, and De Michel and Phillips, 1994, Baker and De Michel, 1997, De Maris in 2000, Dernbach et al., 2002, and Taylor et al., 2009. Jefferson 1987 mentions calcified wood but mentioned it in the paper only. However, Brown et al. 1994 studied taphonomy of calcified plant fossils from Visu in East Kirton, West Luthien, Scotland. In the paper by Falcon Lang and Scott 2000 described upland ecology of some late Carbonaceous Cordelician trees in Nova Scotia in England that were also petrified based on calcified plant remains. However, Men et al. in 2001 observed excellently preserved wood cell structure with primary uranium materials from a sandstone hosted roll type uranium deposit in China that was also carbonized. There was also pitchamide and coffinite that was mineralized and created carbonized wood. Scott and Collison 2003 used common, a combination of non-destructive techniques such as cold catholuminance uh, SEM scanning electron microscopy to study calcium rich wood mineralization of what was considered and estimated to be from the Pliocene age at Deuteron, Italy and the Jurassic age which is estimated as well in Swindon UK in the paper by Nolak et al 2005 he analyzed several fragments of wood also from Deuteron, Italy and two localities in Poland that was carbonized in like manner. In the Dunebro sample they found calcite and gothite hematite which may have been a predisposition to uh, carbonization. Permonization in wood also was found at Lukal, Poland. And a combination of calcite and pyrite and geothite was mixed with silica also in a carbonized sample as well. Those were 14 bibliographical scientific references that we just mentioned, which we now show as follows, 1 through 14. Now you can look at these in the video or you can stop the video and look at them for yourself. 
we go slowly in case you would like to copy these down or if you would like to refer to them while watching the video. We are now scrolling down to Bibliographical Reference 8, 9, and then 10 is coming up. Next, 11. And then, Bibliographical Reference number 12 is coming up after that. as we see here, and then 13, as we see here, and the next and the last one is 14. Like we said, if you want to stop and see this, do so. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good day.